it's climaxed? Yeah. Five months ago, oh, the G1 Climax had just begun, and I was on... No, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> that was a long climax. It was a very long climax. <laughs> That's like some kind of record. Um, <laughs> I'm glad Dutters didn't stick around for this. All right. Um, listen, Sorg, they do this thing over in Japan. In, in New Japan Professional Wrestling, they've got this thing called the G1. Oh, those kooky um, Japanese. Or the G1 Climax. The, G, the climax, G1 climax may just be the final show. I don't know. These things escape me sometimes. Um, and G1 is this big tournament. Japanese. They do it every year, every year. All the Japanese wrestling guys get a big old heart on for this every single year it comes around. So finally, I'm like, you know what? This year, I, I can I can have I have access to this. I can go on to New Japan World. I can consume this tournament. I'm going to go. I'm going to watch this damn tournament. I'm going to see what it's all about. Um, so it started like what, like three? When was I on your couch, sort? Three weeks ago? I don't know. Feels like a long time. I don't ago. know. When's that like last time? time when's that last time we got angry? Already begun when I was on your couch, oh. and it just ended on on Sunday morning. Um, I think the G in G one stands for grind because this is a grind <laughs> to get through. This thing went forever, um, but that doesn't mean that it was a bad thing. It was a very enjoyable uh, thing to consume. The point is. Um, they have this tournament. It goes forever. The, the, the way they structured these shows, which I guess was slightly different than the way they've done it in years past, it was kind of like half of the show was undercard tag team matches, um, and, and they would they would split the tournament into two groups. So you got A block, you got B block, um, and they would only do tournament matches from the A block on one show, and then the guys on the B block would do multi man tag matches on the undercard, and then the next show they would just flip it and they would do B block. Tournament matches, A block guys get to take it easy a little bit. Um, so you basically have these, you know, three to four hour professional wrestling shows that are going on you know, four or five times a week <laughs> that you can watch live as they happen in the dead of the morning around, you know, five, six, seven in the morning on New Japan World. So this was kind of like what I was trying to do. Um, the nice thing about this is that, you know, you really, I, First of all, once I got started, I immediately recognized that to watch the undercard matches was a fool's errand. I wanted no part of that. It was not going to help me enjoy the tournament. So to stick to the tournament matches, stick to everything from intermission on. So that cuts the shows down to about like two hours or so. Even that, you're still dealing with like four or five times a week when you have to catch these shows. Um, <laughs> it was very difficult to keep up with this sword. Um you, uh, there, there are many shows that I missed, um, some that I missed entirely, others that I just kind of like, I only have enough time, I'll just catch the, the, the top two matches, you know, on the thing, and then I'll just listen to a podcast later on. Thankfully, um, a guy up in Canada that a lot of you guys may have heard of named John Pollock, he likes to torture himself even more than I do, and he watches the entire shows, and he does like a daily, was doing a daily podcast um, with these uh, with these shows and telling everybody what's going on and, and updating the standings. Um, yes. Yeah, so I, I watched this tournament. <laughs> I watched this whole bloody tournament sword and it was really awesome. The wrestling was really great, but it was tough to keep up with. Um, but I managed to do it and I was rewarded um, on Sunday and I got to watch the G1 climax and the big finals, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Versus everyone's favorite, Shinsuke Nakamura and Japanese John Cena got it done. Tanahashi wins again. And um, he is the winner. And from what I've heard, he will get a shot at the IWGP uh, World Heavyweight Championship, which is held by another one of my boys, uh, Okada. Kazuja, Kazuja, forget it. Um, Okada. So we're getting questions. <laughs> no, but just a reminder, like, why is this a big deal? And it's a crazy, huge tournament. I mean, this is something that that some of the greats, uh, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, part winners of this in the 80s. And it's something that continues on. And definitely as far as, you know, as we're becoming a world wrestling fandom, uh, it seems it's happening right now between this and the exposure to Lucha Underground to that side of the world. And I think a lot of people are going to want to check out what's happening south of the border there as well. Um, I, I think it's just uh, we've all been enamored with the history here. 
And and I think it's really cool that Matt, you've had that opportunity to check this out. You know, I'm having enough trouble keeping track of what's here on America on my television. Like it, there was there was a lot of good stuff, Sorg, and it it, it is kind of a lot of people have trouble kind of making that leap and, and checking it out. They're worried about the um, the language barrier. Of course, I, I don't care. I mean, I think the Japanese announcer is better than most English English announcers that I listen to, and I don't the, understand a word he's saying. You hear the emotion, right? I'm more enjoying when I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> like kind of AAA and Lucha thing. Libre and stuff like that. I love that shit. It's all just screams and, you know, we're calm now. Okay, now get excited. Oh, there you go, yeah. Um, AJ Styles was far and away, in my opinion, the, the, the star of the tournament. Um, if you have to go see... If you have to seek out one match from this G1 tournament, I would go find AJ Styles versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. They went almost full WrestleMania in their match, and we're just doing some crazy stuff. Nice. And Styles was doing it against everybody, even the big stiffs who had no business having decent matches against everybody. And uh, Styles was able to get it done. Um, so all the great inroads, uh, all the great things happening for us as American wrestling fans – have been a result of companies, huge companies from outside the United States making inroads into this country. AAA has been the driving force behind Lucha Underground. That was awesome. And New Japan Pro Wrestling, slowly but surely, is nibbling away at the United States professional wrestling fans and gobbling us up one at a time. (laughs) And now they've got me, and soon they'll have you. It's just a matter of time. It's awesome. Can't wait. Can't wait, and uh, we'll fill. We'll, I'll fill the gap in there somewhere with some Japanese wrestling, right? But uh, that's awesome. That's completely awesome. All right.